how to be charismatic. I've got seven tips here for you fellas, so make sure you watch this entire video. The first tip is improve the way you see yourself. Your self-image. The reason why you don't respect yourself is because you don't follow through on the things you say you're going to do. Your words mean nothing. They're empty. You say you're going to start a business. You don't. You say you're going to quit porn. You don't even try to quit. You say you're going to go to the gym. You haven't gone in four weeks. So all those empty promises, they affect the way you see yourself. So when you look in the mirror, you're like, man, I'm nothing but a sad wanker, broke, ugly. The good news is things can change. If you change, if you get better, everything will get better for you. And eliminate, for the love of God, eliminate the victim mindset. It's not going to serve you. But Ali, I'm just, shh. No, there's no, it's just, nah. If you're behind on your payments, you're behind on your promises, it has to change. Earn your respect by completing tasks, by following through. That's how you build that self-confidence, man. Self-confidence comes from data, evidence. You know what? I've done shit. If you sit on your ass all day and you've done absolutely nothing, and that day becomes a week, becomes a month, becomes a year, of course you're not going to respect yourself. You know you're a fraud. And what's worse is when guys talk like the real deal, but they don't back it up. I mean, that's a problem. Then you're living in la-la land. You're living in your own bubble. What does the data say? If you haven't followed through, if you haven't taken action, then begin taking action. If you want to attract opportunities in the form of a girl that you want to get into a relationship with, business, right? Someone that you want to do business with. If you want to attract opportunities your way, you have to follow through. Build up your own self-confidence. Okay? And that affects your charisma as well. Because you've done some shit. You know what? I take care of myself. I do that consistently. It will show in your aura. The second tip I've got here for you, fellas, is don't be attached to the outcome of a situation. Whether it's a girl that you're approaching in a coffee shop. Don't be thinking, oh my God, no, but what if it doesn't work out? And then this and it. Don't overthink it. Whether it's a business deal. You're sat in front of somebody presenting a proposal to them and you're thinking at the back of your mind, but what if they don't? Who gives a shit if they don't? Don't be attached to the outcome. You can want the outcome to work your way, but don't be attached to it. People can smell that needy energy. He needs this. Neediness is never attractive. I can want something, but if I need it, I'm going to act out of character in most cases. I'm going to end up being a goofball. You know, I've seen this before where a guy gets rejected a, guy, a girl tells them that she has a boyfriend and they're trying. Is it a boyfriend or a boyfriend? You know, that's dumb shit like that, bro. What are you doing? Just walk away. If she was interested, she would have had a conversation with you and shared her number with you potentially and then you would have gone out on a date. Right? But if she's creeped out or maybe you don't pass the eye test for her, she doesn't find you attractive. Oh, sorry, I've got a man. And she may, she may actually have a man, by the way. Now, I know what us guys often believe that, oh no, she's just using that as an excuse. She may not be. So respect her decision or her response and just walk away. Same thing with business. If they decide not to carry on or not to do business with you, great. Not an issue. Someone else will. So that abundance mindset makes you charismatic. You live in a world where opportunities are right around the corner. If this doesn't work out, another will. The next tip I have here for you is open body language. You know, when you're sat like the hunchback of Notre Dame and you're always looking at the ground and your arms are crossed like that, it signals anxiety oftentimes, uncertainty. You're unsure of what you're saying. So you're closed off like that. Now, I know some guy is going to comment down below, but it's comfortable. Your body language reflects how you really feel. So if you are comfortable, you're usually open up, right? You expose your palms, you talk, you use your hands, right? When you're sat with a girl, let's say on a bench, your arms are on the bench, right? You're open up, you're talking to her, your legs are spread open. 
You know, people call it manspreading. It's misogynistic when a man's... Nah. It's confidence, right? And so look, open body language. Adjust yourself. Some of you guys, you might be watching this video like this right now. Fucking sit up straight, man. Sit up straight. You know, if your neck is always crouched down, bro, lift your neck up for God's sake, man. Right? If you're speaking in front of a, a room of people, you're delivering a presentation, walk around. Don't stand in the same position with your hands in your pockets. No, walk around. Look at people in the eyes as you're speaking to them. How many of you here use your hands, express yourself? Okay? The next point I have, which actually ties into the point I just mentioned, is improve the way you communicate. Remember, communication is both verbal and non-verbal. So you are communicating with your body without even realizing. Okay? And when you do realize it, check it. But communication. So one thing that makes somebody look charismatic is speaking slower. Oftentimes when you're nervous, you want to rush what you're saying so that you can get it over and done with and get the hell out of there. Breathe. Speak slower. It allows people to understand you more and it also makes you look more intelligent because you're thinking about what you're saying. You're not just saying it because you want... Calm down. And it's okay to pause. Confident people are okay with pauses. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. You know, a guy once asked me on a coaching call, Ali, I was on a date with a girl and there was about 20 seconds of silence. And I'm like, cool. What's wrong with that? If you're sat, you know, on a table outside of a restaurant and it's a busy square and a lot's going on and you're sat down and you've got your food in front of your drinks and you look around occasionally, it's all right, man. You know, if you're saying nothing and you're staring at her dead in the eyes I mean that, that could be a little bit weird it could make her feel a little bit uncomfortable so just look around embrace the silence it's only awkward if you make it if you start saying things like why aren't you saying anything come on man that's going to make you look really nervous and also really fucking weird right so embrace the silence and also active listening so when somebody is speaking to you don't feel the need to interrupt them immediately. It also makes you, you know, dislikable when you're constantly interrupting, butting in. Let someone finish what they're saying. Then add your input. They're not going anywhere. Right? So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, look at them in the eyes when you're speaking to them. You know, don't be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because th that's a sign of disinterest. Of course it is. Or, you know, what's worse? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Don't be, don't be doing that. Whether you're on a date with a girl or whether you're in a business meeting, don't be doing that. You're there, but you're not there. And it's disrespectful. Put the phone down and speak. Okay? Active listening. It makes people like you more as well. If you can listen to what they have to say. All right. And I know a lot of guys mistake being quiet for being or having a lack of knowledge. Not at all. Some of the most intelligent people that I know don't feel the need to speak all the time. They're listening because they're gaining new information when they do so. Right. OK. And you'll see them thinking. And then when they say something, it's powerful. You know, they're not just speaking for the sake of speaking. Check yourself. A lot of the times we're saying words, but we're not actually aware of what we're saying. So it's okay to pause and think about what comes out of your mouth. Okay. The next tip is dress well and adopt good postures. And it goes to back to the body language thing that I mentioned earlier. But dress well and sit up straight or walk with your chin up. If you're looking at the ground constantly and nah. And dress well, for goodness sakes, man. Get rid of the track suits. 
put on a damn blazer from time to time. You're going to feel good. Add some nice fragrance on top of that, and you're going to feel like a billion dollars. And you'll notice people will talk to you differently. You'll receive different treatments at airports and everywhere you go. Sir, sir, sir. Some of you who dress nice, like me, I know somebody's going to be, but Ali, nice is subjective. Yeah, but a nice suit is timeless. Some of you guys would have seen how people treat you differently when you dress well. Okay, so take care of yourself. Grooming, hygiene, trim your nails. If you've got fucking claws that are six inches long, people are going to run away from you. You're a damn werewolf. Cut your nails, fellas. Okay, it's not feminine. The fact that I have to even mention that is funny. It's not feminine. Be well groomed. Smell nice. Okay? It affects overall how people perceive you. If people look at you and they're like, damn, this guy takes care of his hands, he takes care of his hair, then they like you more. They do. Feel more at ease with being around you. If you're a motherfucker who smells as shit, your fingers have got tons of dirt underneath, it's repulsive. And I'll tell you what, guys, women will look at your hands. I'm just saying. They will. They'll do a little scan on your hands. They see claws down there. Yuck. All right. The next point I have on here is ask rhetorical questions. You know, embrace a little bit of sarcasm as well. You know, you see this a lot in the series Suits, Harvey Specter will say a lot of, will ask a lot of rhetorical questions. You know, a little bit of sarcasm shows that you're comfortable with having a bit of fun. You're not always serious and, oh my God, no, this has to be this. And ah, you're playful with it. The next point I have here for you guys. And this is the last point, which ties into what I just mentioned. Is have a relaxed energy about you. Embrace the fun. You know, being charismatic isn't just about being serious and talking money. No, it's also about being able to let loose from time to time. Okay, because if you're always numbers focused and that, you come across as a bit of a robot. Especially when you're around women. Don't be talking about stocks and shit all the time, bro. Have fun. Let loose. This way they know that, okay, when it's time to handle business, he handles business. But when it's time to have fun, he also likes to have fun. You're the complete package in that regards. And remember what I always say, guys. When you work, work. And when you play, play. Don't mix the two. When you work, work. When you play, play. Don't mix the two. Don't be out on a date looking at your phone, trading the market, you know. When you're having fun with her, have fun with her. When it's time to work... It's time to work. Hopefully these tips have helped you out, fellas. If they have, make sure you give this video a like, comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. See you in the next one.